Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, uh, we are discussing about a list in Python program. So here the list is a collection of multiple elements of different data types. So we can store a multiple data type elements in a single place that we call it as a list and it is represented in between two square braces. So and also we have seen so how to create a list and how to insert the elements into list. So by using the direct initialization, by using the assignment operator, we can directly assign the elements into a list. And then the second one is runtime initialization that can be done in two ways, which we have seen in the previous session. One is by using the append method. So by appending, uh, by using the append method, only one element will be added to the list. And coming to the second one, that is by using split method. So by using the split method, we have to give the input in a single line separated with a space. So each and every space will be treated as a single element in the list. So it will split all the spaces and it will create all the elements and it will be appended to the list. So this we have seen in the previous session. Now let us see how to access the elements into the list and how to update the elements into the list and how to delete the elements in the list. Right? Now, so first let us create a list and then we'll go with accessing, updation and deletion. So for creating the list, so the concept is list. So for creating the list, we can use some uh, sequence name, list name. So I will use a sequence is equal to, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is a numerical list. It contains all numerical values. So I have taken this list. The list name is sequence. Now, how to access the list? How to access the list elements? So similar to the array concept, every element in the list will have their own index values. So here also the index starts from 0 to n minus 1. So first element in the list, the index is 0. The second element in the list is 1 and so on. The last element in the list is n minus 1 if the list contains n elements. So if the list contains n elements, the first element index is 0. So this is the index values. The concept is similar to the errors which we have seen in C language. right? So how to represent the particular element in the list by using these indexes? Simply by using sequence square brace index. So this will give the element which resides in the given index value. So see. If you take this example, sequence is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, then that in implies sequence of 0 is equal to 10. Sequence of 1 is equal to 20. Sequence of 2 is equal to 30. Sequence of 3 is equal to 40. Right? So this is the values how we can access the elements in the list. So if you want to access the fourth element, this element, by using this index value, we have to access that. So if the element is 4, the index value will be 3. Because, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3. So the index value always starts from 0. So fourth element will be the index value 3. The fifth element will be having the index value 4. And the nth element index value is n minus 1. The first element index value is 0. So this is how we can access every element from the given list. Now, how to update the list? Let us see how to update the list.
update the list elements update the list elements means either we can delete the elements or we can add the elements or we can uh, modify the elements reassign the elements right so see we can reassign add or delete and this adding can be done by using append append method so which we have seen in the previous session that is append method so we have to write a sequence dot append right element so by using this syntax we can add an element to the existing list so where it will be added it will be added at the last position so if the element is 50 so if the element is equal to 50 need to be added into the list so by writing this command sequence dot append of 50 it will modify the list as 10 20 30 40 and 50 so the last the element will be appended at the last so that's the meaning of this method append append means the data will be concatenated at the end of the list or a string it's a general meaning so similarly here also if you use append method the element will be added at the end of the list next reassign reassign means changing the value at the particular index directly we can we can uh, done this by using a simple assignment operator so if you use sequence of 1 is equal to third, sorry 50 sequence of 1 is equal to 50 so previously the sequence of 1 is having 20 and after executing this command, I mean after executing this instruction, directly the list consists of, right, sequence consists of 10, 50, 30 and 40. So here the 20 is replaced with 50. So previously the first, the element in the index value 1 is 20 and now after executing this instruction, that 20 is replaced with a value 50. So the final elements in the list after updating is 10, 50, 30, 40. So this we call it as a reassignment, right? Reassignment that, that can also be called as updating the list elements, right? This is the reassignment. So by using the index values. Now coming to the delete. So how to delete an element? So here there is a command called DEL, DEL, DEL command. So this is used to delete a particular element. So we have to mention the index value of an element which is to be deleted from the list. So if you want to delete the same thing, sequence of 1, we have to write delete sequence of 1. So after executing, after executing this instruction, automatically the element which exists at the index value 1 will be removed from the list so there are uh, two more built-in functions remove and pop so the those two functions we will discuss in the next sessions right those are built-in methods so we will discuss in the built-in methods list built-in methods so present this del command is used to delete a particular element from the list so we have to mention the index of the element which is to be deleted from the list so here I, am, I have given sequence of 1, so after executing this one, the list elements will be 10, 30 and 40. So before instruction, sequence is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40. So index value is 0, 1, 2, 3. So I have deleted sequence 1, so first index value, this will be removed from the list and the finally the list will be 10, 30, 40. So this is the DL command right so these are the simple operations we can uh, perform on this list I mean th these are the uh, simple things we can perform on the list so creating the list right inserting the values into the list and then accessing the values uh, accessing the elements and then uh, updating the list elements that includes a reassignment of elements in into the list adding the elements and then deleting the elements from the list. 
right so, so these are the basic things we can perform on list now let us see simple list operations list operations so hope you understood these things right creation insertion and everything right so for everything the reference is index value for everything there is an index value i mean for everything the reference is index value here also the index value always starts from 0 to n minus 1 now see uh, one more thing accessing the elements let us see the, the thing accessing elements so if the sequence consists of 10 20 30 40 and a 50 so all these are the five elements so index values are from 0 to 4 right so elements representations are from sequence of 0 to sequence of 4 hope you understood now so if I access this one sequence of 1 what is the result the first index so here I am writing the index value 0 1 2 3 and a 4 sequence of 1 it's a 20 next if you give a minus value if you give the minus value so if it is a positive value then the index values are countable from left to right right so if it is a positive value the index value is a positive the, the index values are valid from countable from left to right and if it is a negative value the index values will be starting from right to left so the first element if it is a negative value the first element is minus 1 the index value of first element is minus 1 if we consider it from right to left so here sequence of minus 1 will return 50 so minus 1 means from right negative means negative index means right to left positive index means left to right so here sequence of minus 1 gives you 50 now sequence of minus 3 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 so obviously so minus 3 is 30 so this is the negative index this one is the positive index right next we can give the range of index values to be represented in a separate list so if you represent sequence of 1 2 3 that implies starts from 1 and ends with 3 so index value from 1 means 20 last element is 3 that means 3 minus 1 so here the elements will be from index 1 to 2 only 2 elements so 2 is 30 hope you understood next I will, I will show you one more thing sequence of 1 is to 4 that means index values will be from 1 to 4 minus 1 3 the so last element minus 1 till the last element minus 1 so this implies this gives a result the first element is 20 30 and the third index value is 40 so this is the result of this thing right so if you specify sequence of 4 only the end index so column is for slicing this is called a slicing slicing right this is called a slicing so this column represents right this column represents the beginning of the element index is starting from 0 if you are not mentioning the beginning index so always starts from 0 here it is a 4 so from the starting index we have to consider all the elements until it reaches the index 4 minus 1 that is 3 so index values are from 0 to 
3. The index values are 10, 20, 30 and 40. Right? This one will be done. Similarly, sequence of see. Similarly, sequence of 1, sorry, 2, comma. So here I am not mentioning the last index. So the starting index is 2. So the first element of the resultant list will be uh, from the element index 2 and we are not mentioning the last index so it will continue with the end element till the end element. So last element, I mean second element is 30, 40 and 50. So this one is the result. So this column represents the slicing. Right? Slicing means just a sub list, creating a sub list. So for that we have to use this column. So hope you understood this uh, uh, list updations, right? List accessing the elements, list updations, list reassignment and uh, deletion, deletion of the list. So let us stop here. So in the next sessions, we will go with the list operations. So what are the operations can be performed on the list? And then we will see some list built-in functions. There are some built-in functions uh, using the list. So those we will see in the next sessions. So hope you understood these simple things. So if you really understood my videos, like my videos and share my videos with your friends. And if you are having any doubts regarding this Python list, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that I will definitely try to clarify all your doubts. So thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for getting more videos on python programming so do, thanks for listening and watching thank you very much